Hi there, this is Unika Stoja and I welcome you to Watercolors PH. In this page I'm going to review some of the watercolors and also some papers and uh, I will also be doing some speed painting in the future so I invite you to subscribe to my channel and please do watch all my videos. I've been doing these comment strips for authors and it's just fun doing it. But today is a little bit special because it's art whole day. Yep, I've purchased all this stuff not in just one go, I tell you. But it has a duration of I think at least a month. I purchased these brushes in Art Bar in uh, ATC. And the best uh, among them is this size 12 brush which holds water nicely and it has a good tip. Then the next ones are these plates that I purchased from Daiso. They are ceramics, so it's easier to clean the paints from here and it's pretty cheap as well. Then when I was passing a national bookstore, I purchased these pens, uh, fine liners that are on sale and I need fine liners that are, you know, water resistant so I purchased them as well. These Magellas I purchased myself and not in set so I picked my own colors and I purchased them into batches so one week I purchased five tubes and the other week I purchased another five tubes. The prices vary depending on the pigment here and so I suggest so for you to check out each two before buying and um, I've heard because I haven't tested it yet I've heard that these colors are light fast so I need to say that it's going it's going to stay forever it's not going to fade and then I purchased this uh, set Holbein watercolors for a very cheap price online through Facebook and the uh, seller is very friendly but it's been used but it's okay because um, I think it's used sparingly and it has this um, water holder and these brushes that I was surprised included in this pack because this set is not include is not available here in the Philippines so when I check it out it's um, just available in Japan I was really happy with this purchase because um, you just can't find it anywhere here and the colors are very vibrant and later I will have it swatched so you can check out the you know the result later on so watch until the end please so you can see how vibrant the colors are And then I present to you these sets that I purchased from a watercolorist himself and it was just online and he has so many watercolors available for himself and he's trying to share them to us by selling them in half pens. First off is this Shinhan watercolor which is a PWC. It's premium and it's different from the professional one. It is higher in pigment and it's also light fast than the professional. Now, I'm sorry if you can hear my dogs in the background because they are playing right now. I tested it out and as you can see, it came out well. It's really beautiful. And this is my favorite, it's green shadow and I will so much abuse it in the future. And don't forget to put silicone inside your case if your paints are still wet or moist like mine so you to, uh, to avoid molds coming into your paints 
All right. So, next one. Next, please. Is Daniel Smith. Okay, so Daniel Smith, I can't purchase on my own. It's too expensive. I don't want to mess it up. I don't want to waste it. So when I found this online for half pants, I was so thrilled. So I purchased them from the seller that I was talking to you about, and I will put his link down in the description below. So check it out later. And he also gave me this um, as a freebie. It's um, Moon Glow, I reckon. Yeah, and the next is a Da Vinci, which is also an expensive set. And I was thinking of buying the um, mixing set, but he has big tunes available, so I purchased the half pan set instead, and it's uh, more affordable than. The mixing set, and as you can see, it's still very moist because he squeezed it the day that I am uh, about to purchase it. And next is this um, Arches paper, which is 180 GSM and 100% cotton, which is very expensive for me to use, and I think. And I'm going to stare at this paper for a very long time before I'm about to, you know, do my work. And uh, sadly, there is a cut down the road because I didn't check it out before purchasing it because I was going to work when I purchased it in art block. So it's time for pouring and the swatching of Holbein watercolors. I want to give a shout out to Nike Gonzalez Seki Ball, who is my seller for this set. Thank you so much for selling this item to me. I really appreciate it. Each tube is 5 ml and there are 12 colors in this set. I purchased this in Shopee for um, I think 219 each pen. Um, half pens are perfect for it, total dose, and even the full pan that I reckon is only for six full pan that will fit on this table. So let's start pouring the paints on the pants.
go ahead and swatch them out. Okay. <clears throat> the best way for you to check out if the color spreads very nicely on the paper if, if you wet the paper first so it's cold but unwet. Also I've tried the wet on dry but it's just me because I forgot to wet the paper first. <laughs> so it's just like trying it's an alibi but I really forgot to wet the paper first. I skipped some of the pouring and swatching um, on this video because um, I didn't realize that my uh, camera stopped because of um, the memory card. It's already full so I have to switch to a new memory card. Also I purchased some new colors in Shopee so hopefully it will be delivered next week. And so I'm done swatching Holbein and uh, as you can see it's so bright and beautiful and I'll be using this I think for a very long time. This is my new palette. Very lovely. And I hope you enjoyed this video. Please do subscribe to my channel and click on the notification bell so you'll get notified every time I upload a video. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Cheers and goodbye.